Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance. I truly am appreciative of each one of you who have subscribed, liked, commented, shared. It really builds my spirit. Thank you so much and I'm truly grateful to the Great Spirit for allowing me to be a clear channel, for bringing forth the messages that are guiding, that are serving as a guiding light, that are serving as healing to other souls who are taking that journey within and helps others integrate more of the light within themselves. So over the few weeks, over the past few weeks, I've been getting a lot of guidance. I mean, I think we always get guidance. It's just when we are tapped in, tuned in. And I truly, with this full moon, I stepped in truly in a deeper level as a high priestess within. What it truly means to be this goddess of the moon. These are some of the cards that just absolutely wanted to speak before I begin our twin flame reading. We go through life and we create from what we believe we should based on what we learnt of who we thought we were that limited our potential, that limited our sense of self-worth, the things that happen in life or past lives that are imprinted deep in our psyche as psychic impressions and we carry them within our DNA. Operating out of those fears, operating out of guilt, operating out of shame, lack of self-worth and self-confidence. But what the Spirit has been guiding me, and I took a deep internal journey a few days ago, and I was guided, and I'm going to speak about it, is a journey that, if you're familiar with the, um, it's Greek mythology, and I am going to talk about uh, Persephone and Hades. Hades is the king of the underworld, right? King of the underworld. So if we could look at the underworld as our shadows, as the aspects within ourselves, within our community, within our world, within our universe that we consider as bad, shunned, and put away and cast aside. This is declared as bad and sinful. Whatever different religions, different belief systems, whatever you, you have faith in, we put it in the realm of the dark shadows. So the greater the attachment we have of a belief system that only this aspect is true, only this is true, and this does not even exist. This does not even exist. Meaning you're only holding on to one aspect of you. The greater the shadow we create, the greater our attachment to one aspect within us, the bigger and deeper the shadow. I'll talk about this in other videos. And the core message before I begin the lesson is a lesson. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling like I'm being a teacher here right now. Before I begin my um, reading is acceptance. Are we accepting of who we are? Are we truly accepting who we are? Can we accept all that is, whatever it is, deceit, betrayal, hurt, humiliation, degradation, all of it. Can we accept that it is a part that we have created collectively, collective conscious, and that it's, it is a part of us. It is a part of our belongingness of where we are. If we can understand what those emotions, where they're coming from, 
when someone acts out of rage, when someone acts inconsiderately, if we can understand that it requires an opening of the heart, greater love needs to flow through that heart. We are accepting more and more of our shadows. As we accept more and more of the aspect that we do not feel is a part of us, the more we are integrating into that whole. We are integrating and coming from that place of wholeness. These messages just wanted to fly out as I was shuffling and putting the cards out. Um, so I'm feeling very strongly to share that each one of us and the collective itself is right now going through a huge shift where we are all, if we are not, at some point we will be, looking inward and looking into the darker aspects within us, the collective subconscious, our individual subconscious, the depths of the darkness. Right? Something that's shoved underneath the rug, deep below. You don't want to face that pain. You don't want to face that hurt. You don't want to face that grief, that loss, the rejection, um, the deceit. And you, you don't want to face it. We're being asked at this time to take that journey. To take that journey into the depth of the heart. Persephone had to resign to that fate, that she was abducted against her will. She didn't want to go into the deep, dark, dark underworld. She was taken against her wishes. For the greater good of humanity, the myth has that she lives half the time, a half the year, under the world, underworld, ruling ruling the darker side and the other half as soon as soon as she emerges out from the darkness and up onto earth there is regeneration so there are many meanings that were coming here for me and looking at all the cards that have come here we are being asked we are being asked because this was the first card that came out is if you haven't started Begin that journey, begin that voyage into the heart, into that heart. You will encounter many passageways that may be narrow and there would be darkness and there would be shadows. But know that the Spirit is with you. Angels are there with you. And you have the power within you to transform all, all of the aspects that are buried deep within your subconscious. Because it is a time for rebirth. It is a time for rebirth. This is the phoenix. Rises in, it's a card of judgment. Judgment comes at that point in your time. This is that point in your time you're being asked to look at your life for where it has been, your journey. Allow the transformation of the heart to take place. Face, face those fears. Face those fears. Think about what Persephone must have gone through to be living with no sunlight. And yet when she comes back, the entire world celebrates. You'll always be held by the Spirit. You'll always be held and nurtured by the Great Mother. You're revered and you're loved for making that journey into the depths of your soul. For there is great love within your heart and within the universe for your journey. 
you may have to make, you may have to walk away from what you once thought was and what you believed was in search for deeper truths, in search for wholeness. And know, and know that your spirit is resilient, it's strong, it's courageous. You're a warrior within. And you have deep love in your heart. The illusions of the world have you believe otherwise. But then, but then, the lower energy, the devil energy, is only doing his job. His job is to tempt. His job is to see if you have the tenacity within you to say no and to rise in your power. Persephone would have perhaps encountered what we call as the victim archetype. Why did this happen to me? Why me? Why is my fate to be living in the underworld? Why is my fate to be living in the darkness? That's not fair. I don't deserve this. But truly, what is it that we can learn from our journey? True acceptance of how she became an observer and how she was able to navigate through the darkness, never ever letting go of her inner spirit of love and light. Never ever letting go of that spirit and that beauty within her. So whatever is happening around you, no matter what the darkness is, no matter what others are trying to say to you or bring you down, do not allow your own light to be dimmed or to be defined by what another has to say. It's time to integrate the light and the dark. It is time to take that journey within. Find and face the shadows. And unless you face the shadows and integrate them, you cannot come into wholeness. There's a new beginning here. This card has come out, so I'm going to put this back in the deck, but I wanted to share this because this message is here. This came in all my three decks. My, I, this was the last deck that I was shuffling, so I kept these two cards out for you to see. This is the card of healing. Healing begins just like this phoenix. You know, There is that deep healing that's taking place within the psyche, within our own self as we take this journey and every single time you dive in to the dark underworld you rise up just like this phoenix your colors revived celebrated for this beauty within you all the colors of the rainbows integrating healing is taking place and healing is here you are that star we have to dive in there and the universe is giving you this new beginning, this pure, emotional, true beginning. Self-love, love with another, love in any relationship is here. Since I was already thinking that I will be doing the Twin Flame reading, these ones, the Romance Angels, just wanted to come out. So message here is that the twins are working on healing family issues and this is true love this is true love and when we talk about family issues it's more in terms of I feel like there is ancestral cleansing that's taking place here and this was the animal totem that was the first one that wanted to absolutely fly out and this is the hummingbird hummingbird is a bringer of joy and lightness of the spirit. Expect miracles and miracles will occur. 
You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Find and embrace all the colors, all the colors within you and let go of that past, coming out of that darkness, coming out of that darkness, ascending. You've taken that journey, you descended into the darkness and then it is time to ascend back. Growth and regeneration are here and love and lightness of the spirit. Spread that. So let's begin the reading. Let's look at what the masculine is thinking about his Divine Feminine. So what's on the Divine Masculine's mind right now is stability, bringing in that happy home. It's the card of the 1111. I got the Four of Wands. This one actually did pop up as I was shuffling before I began the reading. And and what's happening and what he's thinking is taking place right now is far greater than what he can imagine. He's blending and there is he's bringing that balance. There's a card of balance. It's a balance that needs to be brought because there have been very deceptive energies that were there before needs to bring that in balance and bring that into wholeness and he's thinking on how he can bring that happiness back and bring that stability in his life where he felt happy peaceful and home this was home you are home to him divine feminine you are home to him but he's done things which he's not very proud of. But it's been the game of the mind. And he's now learning to go with the heart. He's learning to listen to the heart. He's made that voyage. And he knows that he'll need to change and bring about a change to achieve this, he needs to speak the truth. This is a card of deception. This is a card of not telling how he feels. Let's look at um, what the Divine Feminine is thinking about the Divine Masculine at this time. What is the Divine Feminine feeling for the Divine Masculine at this time? Oh, I have my deck fell out. It's a lot of burden. It's a lot of burden on her mind. What is this Ten of Wands? Oh. With a Ten of Cups, look at that. Look at all these completions that are coming in. One more card, please, for the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine's mind space as she's thinking about her Divine Masculine, about her Divine Counterpart. I'm feeling like there's one more that needs to come out. I'm just feeling it. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. So, what the Divine Feminine is feeling right now is, okay, there's both the energy of manifestation on the earth, on the earthly plane, and divine love within the heart. A complete, utter fulfillment with this new beginning. And there's been this exhaustion of the journey for the work that she has done, perhaps the patience, perhaps the masculine not coming out with the truth on how he feels, waiting and being patient. So it's like if you watched the earlier part of my video where I talked about Persephone being taken down into the dark underworld. 
So this is where the Divine Feminine is, is she's taken this journey into the underworld. And that's just was a very, very dark journey. And in that journey, she lost sight of where the light is. And she's wanting this new beginning. She's wanting, this is almost like regenerating out from the underworld and up into the regenerative earth. And as soon as you come up, the spirit gives you this pentacle, which is of deep value, like the Star of David. It's, it's, it's sealed. It's coming in from the universe. It's handed to you. A new beginning that is going to put away all that hurt, anguish, pain, related with emotions, related with money, related with spiritual fight. You've had to fight and defend your battles and defend yourself and rise again and again and again. And you're wondering, and you're wondering when this completion is going to take place for you. If you would get this Ace of Pentacles, will the masculine find that courage and find the warrior spirit within and overcome the inner demons to speak the truth and create this happiness this is what he's thinking. He wants this happiness right here at the Four of Wands. And she wants this emotional fulfillment. So we are looking at fire and the element of water, the heart element on this grounded plane. What are they feeling? What are the divine masculines feeling in their heart space? What are they feeling in their heart for their divine feminines? There is that judgment card, the phoenix. Okay, there's another judgment card here. Rebirth time. They need to bring this in. This is a huge decision that the Divine Masculine knows in his heart that he needs to make. It's time to make that big decision. I'm not surprised that the higher font came in. I just had a feeling the higher font would come in. I really did. I'm feeling called to pull some more cards in the hot space. I know not feeling like it's done. That's the Queen of Pentacles, and I'll just show you. When I feel I'm done, that's a, that's a Seven of Swords. Sorry, the Seven of uh, Wands. I want to do one more final card for the heart space. Thank you. Okay. So first I'll show you here and then I'll put them away. This is the heart space of the Divine Masculine right now. So what I'm feeling is As a twin flame, you've created this complete turnaround in the world. Everything, the foundations have been ripped apart on what they believed and what they thought wants to be. And that can be super destabilizing. That can be super scary and super, super fearful. I mean, your whole house is coming down. And this is just not the physical house. This is the house that holds your beliefs, what you once thought was, and what you once hoped would be. You make the Divine Masculine look at himself. You took him down into the underworld, you know, like the goddess of this moon. 
the divine feminine energy within him took him into the underworld of Hades. And when the divine masculine was there, he looked at all the things he had hidden deep within his subconscious. Looked at things that were not serving him right now, that were pulling him away from his heart. That he had gone so far away from his heart in creating this life. that he needed answers. He felt so helpless. He felt so helpless where he couldn't see anything. And that's how you feel when you're into the darkness. Whether you feel imprisoned by your thoughts or by your emotions, it is a self-imprisonment. You're not the victim, Divine Masculine. Step into your role. You can step into your own power. Bring vitality in. Release being the victim. He's seeking divine guidance. He's seeking divine guidance through different sources, whether it's through his own uh, religion, through other people who are of, um, I want to say, um, at a sp greater spiritual strength than where he is at, and he's seeking that guidance. He's seeking that guidance from high on, connecting with that spirit. And he's getting that knowledge. He's getting the insights. He's getting the aha moments. He's getting the epiphanies, what he couldn't see, but we needed to enter the dark space. This was not the last card. To me, that's the key card, is he needed to break the foundations. It is time. It is time. Judgment is here. It is time to evaluate your life for what it has been and where it is, how you're going to move forward. And you've asked, you've asked the universe to give you signs. You've asked the universe to help you move forward in a more, in a more heart-centered way. You've asked the universe to guide you to your true life purpose, to your true destiny. And judgment is here. But for judgment to come in, for judgment to truly be judged for our actions, you've got to visit the deep, dark underworld. You have to forgive the past, what you've done to another, or what another has done to you. Open your heart to the compassion and release yourselves from the chains of the darkness. You have a choice. In every moment, you have a choice. And you'll be given, you are being given this choice now. You're being given a choice now to move away from lack, victim, you know, feeling victimized, having the lack consciousness, um, anything that didn't allow your own spirit to shine and speak, speak. Why am I saying speak? Some masculines need to speak up. Masculines need to speak up the truth. It's going to help you release the burden. Judgment is here. Speak your truth, Divine Masculine. As you do, this is what you're being granted in your heart. You're looking at the Divine Feminine as this beautiful queen of this earth. 
She's created an abundant life all around her. But this abundance has not come at no value. She has taken the dark, deep journey into the underworld. She has risen up onto the earth, regenerated. She has the capacity to regenerate again and again and again. She's bowing her head to what she has created, to what the Spirit brings her. You see her as that. And you want to make an offer. He's feeling like the page. He's really not feeling like uh, I'm fully in my power right now. Wants to make that offer. Wants to make that offer that is going to be loving and lasting. He's been defending himself for far too long for far too long he's been on the defense and he wants to open up that heart we have to open up the heart we have to voyage the heart that's why that message popped out to bring joy back into our life he's getting that message and we did pull this card out and it says here right here it says your intuition constantly senses the voice of the spirit and conveys this through your emotions and feelings your spirit's great love and wisdom continuously flows through you like a stream of soft diamond light stop for a moment and feel this beautiful flow of energy allow it to permeate every part of you you and spirit are one entwined by the invisible threads of love unconditional love that you see and feel with the divine feminine this is true love and you feel that and you know that don't be afraid of the tower energy allow it to do what it's meant to do let's look at what's in the heart space of the divine feminine for the divine masculine energy of bringing balance in right below the ten of wands bringing that energy of balance between the emotions and the physical world mental emotional physical balance let's look at okay what else is there this one actually did come out when i was shuffling the cards this one the two of cups and we got temperance again so there is the mirroring there's that mirroring here so there's a blending of the two so this is the card of that balance and there is that balance and there is that blending to me it's look at them the blending of the two right both of them are blending so there is that blending that's taking place within the heart she knows that that there is this complete utter this is the feeling that she has no matter where the divine masculine is in his aspect of the journey she knows that this is a divine partnership that this is a gift of the divine right there is an equal equal give and take and there is that blending of the two she's holding this space of love see the ten of cups right below that is the two of cups there she's holding that space she's blending the emotions both the masculine and the feminine energy she's blending of the two while the masculine is working on allowing this blending to take place Let's look at what is the energy of uh, Divine Masculine's manifestation. What is the energy of manifestation? What does he wish to manifest now with the Divine Feminine? But what he's thinking and feeling, he's thinking and feeling. What does he want to manifest? This card came out. A new beginning. Utter hope, faith, lightness, abundance, beauty absolute he has complete trust he wants an utter new spiritual beginning i want to begin my journey with you divine feminine all and nothing such a gorgeous card very strong messages because this one came out when i was shuffling this one this one came out the four of wands came out the lovers cards came out twice in both the decks and uh we have the ace of water right here so divine masculine wishes to bring about a new beginning divine masculine what do you wish to manifest 
you want to bring in justice. There has to be justice that has to be brought. Scales have to be brought in balance. And I feel, I, I almost feel like this one is more of a spiritual uh, blending of the two. There is the blending of the two. This also to me is the scales of balance, right? So now things have to be balanced in the physical world, okay? Not just in the spiritual world, right? So justice is off off this world. So perhaps there's some people who are in um, different relationships and that would need to be brought into balance before you can have this new beginning. Yeah, that could be it. Yep, that's what it is. You want to offer that cup. I mean, I mean he wants to take that cup. You had offered this cup and he had been disengaged, not wishing to take place, not wishing to participate, not wishing to see it because you're sitting in that energy of loss and regret and what I did. But this tower moment is bringing that in, is tower moment. In. You want this new beginning. So what is this four of cups? I'm looking for the energy of manifestation. What do you wish to manifest with the divine feminine? Do you want to give her that cup? I want to know, is that the cup? Is that what you want to do, Divine Masculine? You want to give her your cup of love that we saw that's in your heart? So I won't look at it as a sense of loss. So he's looking at self-worth. To me, this is always a card of where you're looking at your self-worth and what you've created. This, so this, this is this one aspect that I'm picking up is he's looking at what he's created and his own self-worth and he's looking at the cup that he was given by you. And he may at this point just be a little bit worried that do I have enough finances to get this new beginning? But this is the card that says, keep going. You got the seven of pentacles. You're gonna get, you're gonna be more skilled. You're gonna get the eight, you're gonna get the nine and then the entire 10. So you're on that journey. So when we are trying to build something, we always at some point get tired and we look at like, oh, I don't know. I mean, this is going so slow. I'm not sure if I'll be able to manage it. So he's right now looking at a lot of finances. I wanna know a little bit more on the, the four of cups and the seven of pentacles, both. Okay, so seven leads to an eight. Uh, yeah, and uh, I want to know what is he thinking of manifesting with this four of cups? I'm not feeling I'm getting that right message in right now. I want to know what this four of cups is. What is that four of cups? Okay, yes, so he hadn't been engaged. He hadn't been, he hadn't seen it. Okay, now, now I know what this is. Okay. When you had offered this cup to the Divine Masculine, he was busy looking at his sense of self-worth and whether he's worthy, whether he has enough. And he was very busy working from seven to eight to nine to ten, right? He's working consistently, diligently, not looking at the beauty outside. The flip side of this card is this, right? Where you see the beauty and you're working with the spirit and you're working and connecting things of deeper value here it was like working really hard by putting your head down like almost like in a dungeon you're just putting things down together so this is what it was now wants to manifest a new beginning wants to bring something that is um, firing up the spirit within wants that movement forward with this and he wants to be able to express that and this has to be brought into justice Let's look at what the uh, Divine feminine, Feminine's energy of manifestation is towards this uh, connection. What does she wish to manifest now? <laughs> right. <laughs> is that surprising? We got the Ten of Pentacles. I don't even think I need another card. I will still, I think this one wants to jump out. Let's see what it is and we will stop with that. There's huge mirroring here. This is the Four of Wands. What the Divine Masculine is thinking, what the Divine Feminine is wishing for it to manifest in the physical, okay? And I was talking about the seven leading to an eight, leading to a nine, leading to a ten. She's wanting that ten. She's wanting that complete, utter, 
completion, which is like, this is like the tree of life, right? On all levels. It's the ultimate happiness on all levels. So these pentacles is not just material and financial abundance, but it also speaks of emotional and spiritual abundance. So where you feel truly connected and one, right? You are regenerated and this makes you, this connection brings in that lightness, the joy, the love, you know, just like that hummingbird. It makes you feel infinite. It's the infinite connection that goes on and on and on. I want to just see, this is so beautiful, very synchronistic. Let's look at, um, I don't like to do what the outcome is. Let me see. I was felt called to pull from here. Setting your course. Begin now. I had picked this card out before. This fell out when I was shuffling. This is so interesting. This is really amazing how the spirit brings in messages. Okay. So what I'm feeling with these cards is, and I'm not reading these like, from the book I'm reading with what I'm feeling intuitively it says here um, setting your course so when you so this is a message for the divine masculines and the divine feminines is look beyond the horizon divine timing is at play look beyond the horizons think big set large goals and begin your journey. Allow the heart to speak and sing. Allow the feminine to lead the way. Allow the feminine to guide the way. She's the goddess of the moon. So don't be afraid of taking this voyage or I don't know, I don't have the full plans. I'm not sure whether we'll see the island at the end or whether we have enough supplies. You will have infinite supplies. The universe is saying that. Begin that journey. Begin that voyage of your heart right now. You're no longer stuck in that energy where you're imprisoning. You're feeling imprisoned. That you're stuck. This is the game of your mind. This is the game of your mind. You can master that mind and release yourself from self-created imprisoned thoughts. And get out of that and set course to begin this new journey. I'm truly going with what I'm feeling like I need to pick. Right. Scribe or a writer. Maybe some of you need to start expressing yourself through your thoughts and your feelings. Divine Feminine. This one's coming straight. I thought of Divine Feminine. Um, this message to me is saying is how you're feeling and your journey begin to write you'll discover something within and you may be able to help and guide another express yourself whether it's through poetry through blogs or any sort of a creative outlet but it has to do with it it, it is it has to what I mean is it's to me it's saying like this must be a message for some that through your creative expression, you allow the energy to flow. You know, you allow your sacral energy to rise up into a higher creative ability. And you have that. You, this is you holding that scroll, you know, you, you know, like the high priestess. You connect into the moon energy, whatever that may be. Right. Right. This one just came straight for the divine feminines. I'm feeling one more. Yeah, I had a feeling this card would come up. This one has been coming up in a lot of my readings. So we're setting on some journey. That's what I feel. 
is there's a journey that we're taking and we have to take. We're on different stages of the twin flame journey. So those who are beginning, it is time to begin now. Those who are in that metal phases, we always are taking different journeys. We always are taking a deeper journey and rising back again, just like that phoenix, adding on a new color, adding on a new feather to our accomplishments. And those are your accomplishments. It is time to take that journey. That's, that's going to be one of my parting messages is going to be we are taking a final journey. Let me see. Um, what do I feel like I want to pull a card from? I'm feeling I want to pull a Rumi message. Rumi has been speaking. So what does Rumi have for us? Look at the message from Rumi. Okay, what does Rumi have for us to say? The merciful mother, number 44. The merciful mother. Allowing the divine feminine, the softness to lead the way, to help you rise through the depths of the subconscious into the light. Allow her energy and her softness to go with the flow, to go on that journey. Card number 44, balance, stability. That's what this message is for the Divine Masculines. This message is for the Divine Masculine. That is what's going to bring instability in your life. All that running around and all this stuff, stuff. Yeah, stuff. That's the only word I'm going to say is stuff. All that stuff. You can just kind of let go and allow the softness. Let's look at one more roomy message. Divine discontent. This to me looks like the tower card and I'm not going to read the message from the book. I today was a uh, feeling that I'm going to go with intuitive messages. Um, to me, this is like the tower card where you're feeling discontented with what you've created, where you've been in your journey, how you are, spleen, lack, sadness, all your foundations. This is card number 12. After 12 is 13. 13 is the divine feminine. It's the 13th portal. You enter into a new, you emerge out of the darkness. Right after that is an emergence. So allow yourself to be in the divine darkness and allow the darkness to show you the light within, to show you the patterns that you had not seen before. Don't be afraid of it. This is a gift. This is a gift. Take that journey. So the two or three levels that have come up here for the twin flames on different stages of the journey, this might be for people who are right at the beginning, afraid to enter into the darkness. Know that you'll come out victorious. And there's so much light and love for you when you emerge. And no one ever leaves your hand when you delve into the darkness. You just can't see it but it's always there. Your light is always there. Don't forget that. Allow the feminine energy to rise within and lead you to a new journey that you'd not seen before or not undertaken before. We'll take a final message from the Divine Masculine. Final message, Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. A new beginning is here at Divine Masculines. And a final message from the Divine Feminines. This card did come out, the rest and rejuvenate. Put all of those mental anguish and thoughts and everything, put it all away. Descend into the darkness, into that quiet space. Descend in there, 
descend and descend for once you descend you shall ascend and as you ascend as you ascend through that take that voyage into that heart and as you ascend there is that light that golden light that is a new beginning that's coming that's a new beginning that's here so allow the merging of the two to begin in your journey sending you love and light this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance